Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is. The Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. And look who I got. Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club. We're coming to you guys with the NBA main slate video. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell icon so you know when I go live and when my videos drop. Leave me a comment down below and give us a pause up. We'd love that, right, Schroeder? A pause up. Um... Hopefully you guys did well. Very chalky slate, very high scoring. I anticipated that, told the club that. Hopefully you guys got that bread. And in NHL, guys, I did it again. I'm on a crazy hot streak on DraftKings NHL. Excuse me. And when I win, the whole DFS club wins. So let's go, man. Let's start. Let's slay this this NBA slate and Schroeder. Let's start the freaking show. All right, so I just realized I did a double intro there. Sorry, guys. Um, if you're new, I mean, if you're returning, you're new, whatever, that uh, this young man right here was my brother, Tim, who just passed away suddenly last uh, Wednesday. So this whole week, I'll be doing tributes to him and dedicating every video to him. Tim, we love you. God bless you. Um, see you on the other side, man. Um, but yeah, guys, this is for Tim. Shout out to Carrie, Tyler, Tomas, Victoria, Frank, Mike, the whole family. This is for you guys. But before we get into it, guys, let me just show you how we're doing. So this is the DFS Club. This is our Hall of Fame. Um, top 25 only in big contests. Trizzy came in second today. Got a 389. Um, Maxi. Maxi went off. Gary Trent went off for value. Um, Dort, Tobias Harris, Drummond, Chalk, John Morant did all right. I mean, he didn't start out too good, but ended up with the 48. That's not bad. Jackson was Chalk and Amir Coffey. I mean, I wasn't on him. I, you know, if you had him, God bless you. Like, uh, my man, uh, Trizzy here, but, uh, yeah, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Okay. I did not have Amir Coffey, but I did all right. One of my lines, uh, I got in the 340-ish range, so broke even. And then uh, NHL, so Skiffle, thank you, Skywalker. You are welcome. Toronto, man, NHL is so streaky, guys. And right now, Toronto's on fire. How to do a Toronto stack. Um, Trizzy won 20, and then, um, sorry, Trizzy won $750. And then, um, yeah, dude, Skiff came in second with a 174, which is pretty Pretty high score for NHL DFS. So shout out to them. Shout out to the DFS club. We had a great podcast today. Today is my first day back to the members only podcast. So um, shout out to the whole entire club. And if you guys want to join the DFS club, you guys are tired of winning or losing by yourself. Come check us out, guys. DFSclub.com. I'm going to pull it up right here so you guys can see it. Two providers in one. DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS. And again, you get every sport. We got a UFC card this weekend. We got no NFL. That's next weekend. That's the Super Bowl. Um, congratulations to the Rams. Congratulations to the Bengals, man. I never thought I'd see that again. Um, they didn't just make the playoffs for the first time since the 90s. They're, they're going to the, to the show. So good for them, man. Um, but yeah, we play EuroLeague basketball, college sports, WNBA, UFC, esports, soccer, NASCAR, tennis. NHL, PGA, MLB, NFL, NBA, guys. Just click join now. Very easy. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, and pick your plans, guys. We're the cheapest in the industry. I know I keep saying it. I'm a broken record, but we just we just are. It's that simple, guys. Bronze, silver, and gold plans. You guys just want to get your feet wet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three-day passes. Come check us out. We cover prize picks. Members only podcast one hour before lock. My voice is there. We go. <clears throat> Gosh, guys, this cold weather does numbers to my voice. And we smoked a bunch of cigars yesterday, which I normally don't smoke cigars. So, woo. Yeah, but so I apologize. My voice keeps going in and out. Um, DraftKings Fandle, obviously, guys, dfsclub.com. Come check us out. Don't you dare be sour. And uh, come win with us, man. We'd love to have you. 
We have a lot of fun, win, lose, or draw. You know, every day's a grind, so come grind it out with us. All right, so let's bring up the sponsor of the show, which is Draft Dashboard. $1 for 30 days, guys. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard for only a dollar if you want to try it out for 30 days. You get access to all my player pools for NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL. You get the lineup optimizer. You can optimize up to 150 lineups. Sweepers and studs of the slate. The player trends. Who's trending up? Who's getting in the old prison pocket? Uh, The position optimizer and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, dang it, cheat. Got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is Draft Dashboard, ladies and gentlemen. So, looking at the injuries... Uh, James Harden's questionable, so we really got to keep our eyes out for that. Um, because y'all know that's just gonna put Kyrie in play automatically. Lamarcus Aldridge is out. Um, Dejounte Murray and Yaka Portal are back. They're fully healthy. Jokic is questionable, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and so is Demarcus Cousins. So we'll see. I mean, we'll get into it, but it should be an interesting slate. And most importantly, Bradley Beal's out. So that should open up some stuff. Some teams are on a back-to-back, some aren't. But, yeah, guys, let's get into it. So we will start here at point guard. Let me change the screen here so you guys can see it better. There we go. All right, so we got Steph Curry, 10.2K. Still too expensive for my taste. He had a great night tonight, right? Um, 37 minutes. It's great to see him almost playing 40 minutes now. 10-2 10-2 is fine. I mean, if he's going to get a 50 burger plus, I think it's a good play. 53, 42, 54 in his last three against San Antonio. Um, I just worry about the blowout here. So go Warriors. Go Steph. He's going to play. I do love the FanDuel price where he's $900 cheaper over there. You're getting him in the 9K range. So I love it. Um, on the opposite side of the court, you got DeJounte Murray. I don't like playing guards against... Uh, Golden State, especially against Steph Curry. But last time he played him, he got a 54. So I might have to check just to make sure that Steph did play that game. Um, but a 10-1, either DeJounte or Steph, I don't know, man. It's going to be hard to choose between the two. We might have to not, bleh, we might not have to choose between them. You can always pay down, right? We got Chris Paul, 9.7K. Price is getting way up there. He was only like 8, like 7K. Maybe a couple weeks ago, but 64, 63 in his last two. But you know that floor game's coming, right? You know he's going to get you in the old prison pocket. You know the floor game's coming. And it's going to be Devin Booker that goes off. So just be careful. But he doesn't play. He's $200 cheaper on FanDuel. And then Kyrie Irving, um, yeah, he's on play. He got a 62 last time against Phoenix. Um, If James Harden is out, I would imagine he'd be the chalky uh, pay-up option of the slate. If James Harden's in, I mean, you can still roll him out there at 9-6. I don't have a problem with that. He gets 50 or more. Last game, he got 39 minutes, 56 fantasy points. And he only plays road games. The thing is with Phoenix, though, too, you got to take into account they're very tough at home. At home, Chris Paul and Devin Booker both play very well. So, you know, Brooklyn... It should be a fun game to watch. I'll just put it to you that way. Brooklyn's not looking as good as we thought, like the Lakers. The Lakers are ass. But uh, Devin Booker, 9.5K. They priced him really closely to Chris Paul. Uh, Did that on purpose, right? Because we all know it's probably going to be Devin Booker that goes off this game. Uh, But, yeah, he's on play at 9.5. A little too expensive for my taste. Even on Fandle, he's 9K. I don't know if I quite like that. Give me fat Fred Van Vliet at 8.7K, guys. Same price on both sides. As long as he's under 9K, I'll keep playing him. Going up against Miami, 45 and a 52. Sorry, 45 and 42 in his last two. Played 40 minutes again. Got 53 minutes in that triple overtime game. 42, 36, 42 in his last three against Miami. So he gets a 50 plus at 8.7. I mean, that's cool, man. We'll take that. Uh, K Cunningham, not on your life. Never Cade. Not consistent enough. Uh, Scotty Barnes. Boy, did he have a crap day today. He got the minutes, but only got 23 DraftKings points. He's going up against Miami. We don't know who's going to be in, who's going to be out for Miami. Um, But last time against him, he did get a 40. Before that, a 37. So for 7K, if he gets you a 40-burger, you're good, right? So 
Don't mind Scotty Barnes because I like the Toronto starters just for the pure fact that minutes equal money. So, Tyler Hero. Yeah, if, hopefully you guys dodge him. I told my members, do not play this man. I said it on my videos, do not play this man. He shot like 5 of 50. He was chalky too. 29 minutes, 21 DraftKings points. Tyler Hero, my goodness. 21, 26, 23 in his last three, guys. Terrible. He should be like 5'9". So, I don't care who's out for Miami. I'm not playing Tyler Hero tomorrow. Um, Let's see. Uh, and I'm not even sour because I didn't even play him today. I'm glad I dodged that landmine, but just saying. So Spencer Dinwiddie with no Bradley Beal at 5'9 is way too cheap. 20, 22, 23. You guys can see when Bradley Beal's in, not so much. But when Bradley Beal's out, he'll get you 30 plus. So Spencer Dinwiddie, one of the safest plays on the slate. 5.9K. $400 more on FanDuel. Let's go. Rev him up, guys. Jordan Poole at 5'5", always good. Um, had a bad game today, though. 26 minutes, 10 DraftKings points. But we like to get him off these floor games. So, you know, just throwing it out there. If there's no, like, for in the 5K range, you know, I'm kind of thinking his ownership's going to be pretty low. He's projected to get almost 30 tomorrow. Um, last time he had San Antonio 24. I love the Fandle price where he's only 5 point. 3K. So I like Jordan Poole tomorrow coming off the bench. Uh, Devontae Graham, 5.5K. Got a 30 burger today. And and you know what? You played him like I did. Be happy with that because anybody in the 5K range gets you a 30 burger. That's fine. Um, especially it was as a seven game slate. So yeah, he's just a, a safe play. He does have a scary floor. Hasn't done too well against Detroit. 22, 21, but he had that 47, but that was five games ago. So Devontae Graham, just someone to think about. Uh, Monty Morris, too. You know Monty's going to be low-owned, but if Jokic is out, I like Monty a hell of a lot more. 5.1K, 33, 38, 23 in his last three. Um, his production will go through the roof if Jokic is out. So I do like Monty. Um, James Harden, just keep your eyes, ears, and Legs open for this news. He is 11K, uh, 55 and a 68, his last two against Phoenix. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I believe it's a hand strain. Yeah. Dealing with a right hand strain. Those of us that were teenagers remember those injuries, those hand strain injuries, right? We first uh, found out about girls. Yeah. Uh, so Patty Mills is interesting because if James Harden's out, I do like Patty Mills at 5'6". Whenever James Harden or Kyrie has been out, he's been balling, man. 46 and a 37. 37, 31 minutes. These Brooklyn guys, we kind of don't trust them, right? But Patty Mills, you know he's going to get his minutes. You know the production will be there, so I do like him. Uh, Gabe Vincent for 5-1. He's like Graham, man. As long as he gets you at 30, you're sitting good. 31, 30, 35 in his last three. Last time against Toronto, he did get a 30. Um, so, yeah, I like Gabe Vincent. Not too shabby. And let's see who else for shooting guard or for point guard. I believe that is it. Let's go to shooting guard, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Ant Man, Anthony Edwards at 8.5K. Should smash tomorrow. I love the price tag. $100 more on FanDuel. Coming off a floor game. That's when we like to pick him up, right? It's like the stock market. Buy low. Because before that, he had a 61. He had a 47. Last time against Denver, he had a 54. 29 and then a 51 so 50 plus at 8.5 i mean steph curry can get you at 50 and look at his price tag so that's what i mean like you don't necessarily have to pay up at guard but anthony edwards is at that price where very very tempting man og ananobi triple og 7.5k he played 35 minutes today um had 30 DraftKings points kind of a you know that's a dead game if you're paying this much for him but Last time against Miami, he did get a 56 burger. 56 at 7.5K would be really nice again. On FanDuel, however, he is $1,000 more. So, OG, I love the Toronto starters because minutes equal money, equals bread. Uh, Clay Thompson, GPP play only, 26 minutes consistently. He got 26, so kind of a floor game for him too. Um, 
again, I just worry about the blood, but blood or not, it doesn't affect Clay Thompson because he just gets his 26 minutes. Close game or not, he'll get his 26 minutes. And Will Barton, I like if Jokic is out. 5.8K. It's just without Jokic, I think a lot's going to be on his shoulders. Gritty vet, man. Um, and he might go a little under owned, I'm thinking. For 5.8K, it's very cheap. I mean, hell, even if Jokic plays, I don't mind it. For that price tag, 30 and a 47 in his last two. Um, his history against Minnesota is not that great, but just a really safe play at 5.8. Uh, Gary Trent, 5.8K, had a great day today. Um, ride the hot hand here. 40 minutes, 46 DraftKings points. Last time against Miami, got 53 DraftKings points. Yeah, Gary Trent's in play for me. $1,400 more on Fandle, though. Oh, my goodness. DraftKings, 5.8. Give me the 5.8, Gary Trent. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Lonnie Walker's okay at 4-3. Night before, really don't know much about value plays, but uh, comes off the bench, plays mid-20s minutes, but with, with fucking Wokovic, excuse my language, but whenever that guy even comes into my head, pops in my head, I get so mad because... The man is delusional. He needs to retire. He just needs to just call it a day. Check out. The guy's already out to lunch, so he might as well just retire. Um, just be careful here. I do like that he got 32 last time against Golden State. I'm thinking hopefully if the game gets out of hand, Lonnie Walker would get some extra run, but it is tricky. It is iffy, but my type of play, especially at 4.3, you're not really risking much, right? Uh, let's see here. I think that's it. Let's go to small forward. Okay. All right. Andrew Wiggins, guys, what I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all today in the live stream and in the video? This dude's on fire, man. He's on another level. 43, 49, 40 in his last three, man. 33 minutes. Even in a blowout, still got 33 minutes, got 43 DraftKings points. As long as the other forwards on Golden State are out, I'm going to keep playing Andrew Wiggins. It's that simple. Draymond. Um, I didn't see how many minutes Kevin Looney got, but yeah, with, with Draymond out, I mean, Andrew Wiggins has just been going off. So I do like that. Um, let's see here. Franz Wagner at 5'6", I think is a pretty good price point. $300 more on FanDuel. Like the DraftKings price on a little bit of a slump. But before that, I mean, he was consistently getting 40s and 30s. So just kind of up and down, just like Cole Anthony, man. You got to play him on the right day. I do like the history against Chicago, though. 34, 35, and a 28. That's about right for 5'6". Uh, Chuma Okiki, too, has been pretty solid off the bench, man. 4.5K. 24, 25 minutes his last two. 34 and 38 DraftKings points. He used to start, but with Wendell Carter and uh, Mo Bamba in, he's just going to ride the bench. So probably not for me this late, but I just wanted to point that out, that he's been he's been killing it. Okay, let's see. Cam Johnson, 5.4K, doesn't look too shabby here. He's playing the mid-30s minutes a game. Um, I don't think Aiton's coming back, coming off a floor game, but he did get a 41 before that. It is against Brooklyn, so they don't play no defense. So I don't mind Cam Johnson night before 5.4K. And remember, hit that bell icon because I'm doing a live stream tomorrow, live before lock, same time, same channel. All right, so don't miss out on that. It's free information, guys, free information. All right, so let's go to power forward and feel the power. Don't you dare be sour. All right, so Giannis Antipupu at 12K. Um, if you'll catch out, it makes your decision a lot easier who you're going to pay 12K for, right? Uh, going up against Washington, last time a 67, 47, 75. Giannis is Giannis, man. He's been up and down this season, especially at that price tag. 12K, you want 70 or more. 70 or more to hit value here. You, if you think he's going to get 70 or more against Washington, which he damn well could, throw him in there. Pascal Siakam Malikam, his price went down. He's only 9K now as opposed to what, 9-3 last late? 45, 62, 36 in his last three. Look at these minutes, 40, 56, 43. It is a back-to-back, -back, but 
Siakam don't care. He don't care. His history against Miami, 62-54 in his last two. My favorite Toronto Raptor next to Fred Van Vliet will be Pascal Siakam Malakam. Get him in there, guys. You got Kyle Kuzma at 7-4. It's just a plug and play. Whenever Bradley Beal's out, this man goes crazy. $200 cheaper on Fandle. 52 and 43 in his last two. 35, 34 minutes. He'll get 30, mid-30s minutes as long as Beal is out. Last time in Milwaukee, he got a 40-burger. So, yeah, roll out with some Kuzma. Get crazy with it. Keldon Johnson, I like if uh, Yaka Portal's out. I tend to don't play him when he's in. It's just a, a leverage thing for me. Uh, Mo Wagner, 3.1K, just a GPP dart throw. Um, comes off the bench, sometimes gets very little minutes, so be careful. If the game is close, he'll probably get very little minutes. If you think Chicago's going to blow him out, which they damn well could, he can get some, you know, like 15, 16 minutes. But in that time, he can get you 20 more fantasy points. So 3.1 is risky, but no risk, no reward, guys. James Johnson, a value solid. Eh, I would say solid, but a good value play at 3.9K. Uh, 26, 38, 16 in his last three. Comes off the bench. Um, two games ago, he did get 38 minutes. What you know? What if they throw him out there as a starter tomorrow? That'd be sweet. Then, yeah, he's obviously a, a good value play at 3.9. But I think even coming off the bench is pretty solid. 26-38, if, if James Harden is out, that just means everybody else benefits. So James Johnson's been getting some pretty good run lately, so I do like that. You can roll out Jeff Green. I mean, disgusting if Jokic is out, but I don't know if I'll have the stones to do it, man. Three and five. He's gotten a combined total. Listen to this. This is Jeff Green for you, all right? 44 minutes combined in his last two games. Eight DraftKings points. Let that sink in. Eight DraftKings points in 44 minutes. That's what you get with Jeff Green. Feast or famine. So, yeah. I, he won't go anywhere near my lineup, but you got Blake Griffin will probably come off the bench tomorrow. Claxton will probably get the start. Um, 15 minutes a game. He's old. They just don't, they don't push him, man. Let's go to center. See what we got going on here. So, yeah, Jokic is questionable. Uh, injured toe. Sounds like he just needs a day off. I don't know. Uh, 12.5K is a great matchup against Minnesota. At this price, he has to get you a, probably a 75 to hit value. So, there's that. $1,200 cheaper on FanDuel. I like him if he plays. Carl Anthony Towns, 9.8K. And even 10K on FanDuel. Having a great season. Great matchup. I mean, he if Jokic is out, Cat should feast. He should feast like like Schroeder does on that fancy feast. Look, he heard me call him out. Here he is. I know you got all excited. You got excited just because I called Cat out, right? Yeah, he's kind of like my favorite player. I'm a little biased, you know, but yeah, I love Cat. He's my favorite player of all time. Even even better than Mike Trout. His favorite baseball player is Mike Trout, for obvious reasons. But yes, Schroeder gets so excited when we talk about Cat, Carl Anthony Towns. So Schroeder's stamp of approval, play of the game, or play of the slate is Cat, Carl Anthony Towns at 9.8K, especially if Jokic is out. You got Busevich rolling in, a revenge game at 9.3K, 52, 38, 48, just kind of all over the place. The minutes are there. You just got to kind of worry about the blowout. And for a 9-3, like, against his old team, he hasn't done that good. Surprisingly, 34, 45, 32. He had that 54, that first revenge game. But other than that, nothing's too spectacular. So just be careful here. Um, don't mind going back to Bam Born on a Bayou at 8K. Had a floor game at 33. But stellar against Toronto. 44, 31, 45, 28, 41. His last five. As long as he's like under 8-5, dude, I, Bam's in play. He's in play. We'll see if Jimmy plays and who else plays for Miami, but they could be shorthanded again, so Bam could come into come into play. Jakob Podol's jumped up to 7-2 for some reason. I can't explain it. I don't know. Sometimes these guys that make these price tags, and Vandal especially, $1,400 more for Jakob freaking Podol. This guy isn't Joel Embiid. He's not Jokic. 
So they need to calm down with these with these prices, man. My God, terrible. Bobby Portis, absolutely terrible. 17 DraftKings points in his last two games. Good night, man. That's that that's awful. Wendell Carter is always in play. Wendell Carter, 6.2. 37, 29, 24 in his last three. You know, he's he's creeping around that 5.9K mark if you want to look at it that way. He's $500 more on FanDuel. Very safe play here. Very safe. So 6.2K. Yeah. Wendell Carter. Good cash game play, I'd say. On these real chalky slates like today, th- those are the days to play cash games. So... Is that right, Schroeder? What, what what did you say? He said, "Yeah, Dan, and, you know we did pretty good on cash on double S because it was really chalky." Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, right? I love your input, though, buddy. Good job. We're almost done. We'll get you your salmon treats, and you'll be your your job will be over for tonight. He's all about the salmon treats, you know. Can't blame the guy. Uh, Bismack Biombo, five point five k. I'm pretty sure DeAndre Ayton's still out, so I mean, yeah, dude. 30 minutes a game, except for that last game. He only got 22, but Bismack, don't don't you dare forget about him. He's 5'5", $400 more on Fandle. Definitely in play. Uh, Mo Bamba's tempting because he's 5'3". Very tempting. History's not so good against Chicago, though. He's just everywhere. He had a three, guys. He had a three four games ago. I don't know if he got hurt or he got ejected or something. And last game he had a 19, so ugh. I like consistency, man. So if Boogie Cousins plays and Jokic is out, we're going to roll some Boogie Cousins at 3-4. Right? He'll be like today's Andre Drummond for sure. For sure. So just keep our eyes out for that. Um, let's see. We already went over Mo. Uh, Daniel Gafford's only 3K. Is that correct? Is there a reason why he's only 3K? I'm going to have to look into that. I'll put him on the player pool. That is that right? There's no freaking way that's right. If Daniel Gafford's 3K, I mean, he's really got bumped down in the pecking order because Washington, let's face it, has so many bigs. But that's really tempting. That's really tempting. He gets a 20 for 3K. That's good enough on a big slate like this. Um, Jermichael Green, too, if Jokic is out at 3K, would be in play also. Not a big point per minute guy, but you know, he's gonna get those minutes gotta go somewhere. That production's gotta go somewhere. And if Boogie Cousins is out too, then yeah, I would imagine that Jermichael Green would be very chalky. Jonas Valanciunas, I dodged this landmine too at 8.3k. He sucked today. 31 minutes, 36 DraftKings points. So if you wasted a center spot on Valanciunas today, shame on you. You should know better. With all the other with the value plays. All those other value plays at center today. I mean, come on now. Um, let's see. Kelly O. So keep your eyes on this. If Kelly O. Linnett comes back and is a full go, I like it at 5.2K. Against New Orleans, last two, 45 and a 45. So I'd imagine the ownership would be pretty low here. Um, yeah, Kelly O. Linnett, if he comes back, he's full go. I do like that. Kevin Looney, 4'8". I was on him today, but not so much. Not so much for San Antonio. I don't think they'll need him to play 30 minutes. Um, Claxton for a value play at 4.1 against Phoenix. I mean, he's all right, but Claxton, they just don't play him a lot of minutes. Like 17 minutes a game. So something to think about. Um, Jackson Hayes is kind of interesting because they started him and Balanchunas today he got 31 minutes 34 DraftKings points if they do something like that again where they start jackson hayes hell if they start willie hernan gomez alongside jonas valanciunas that's golden so if they pull like that and we see the starting lineups we see either jackson hayes or willie hernan gomez starting with valanciunas guys you got to get them in there eubank started today played 22 minutes got got a 20 which was i was okay with it um because he's very cheap but we'll see we'll see what san antonio does they don't even know what the hell they're doing hell they got wokovich as their coach so that's gonna do it for the video guys um thank you guys so much for all the support all the well wishes thank you thank you thank you 
I love you guys. I'll leave the link in the description below. You guys don't have to, but if you want to, um, we uh, we do have a GoFundMe for my brother for his wife Carrie because it's again it's bad enough when you have to grieve your loved ones, but to have so I have to worry about finances and just to talk to her every night and hear all this all, everything she has to go through. It's like she doesn't even have time to grieve. So I'll leave the GoFundMe link down below if you guys you know a dollar whatever you guys want to do it would really help out help her out. Um, going for you know funeral expenses um all that stuff guys so she's left alone with two kids now or his other two kids are, are are grown up but it's all about the twins he had twin boys twin boys uh thomas and tyler so love those kids um so yeah i'll leave the gofundme down there you're not obligated to guys but just throwing it out there and draft dashboards one dollar for 30 days and don't you dare forget about joining the dfs club guys the cheapest in the industry Check it out, dfsclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo. Pick your plans, guys. We're the cheapest, the best in the industry. We've got over 400 members, and this is um, just to show you real quick. So this is this is this is the GoFundMe here for a uh, loving memory of Tim Harris Sr. Shout out to Tim, my older brother. I would love you. I miss you uh, like crazy. So. Again, leave the link down below and that's going to do i'm rambling guys i am freaking i've been rambling for the last like three or four days I feel bad for my wife i feel bad for you guys when i do that but thank you thank you thank you subscribe guys leave me a comment i will get to your comments i saw i got quite a few on my last video um i'm just at that point where it's kind of hard to read right now um i'm trying to be strong for everybody and i don't want to you know tear up in front of my wife where i'm trying to be strong for her and my sister-in-law so I will get to them, I promise. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just so grateful for you guys. For Another day above ground is a blessing. Um, grateful for life, man. This is when you think your life sucks. Someone else you know, is going through something worse. So remember that. My name's Gabriel Skywalker. Hit that bell icon so you can watch my live stream before lock tomorrow. Let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Life is too short. Hug your loved ones every moment you can. And I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Thank you so much. Take care.